All Northwestern basketball fans may want to learn the Romanian term for stress fracture. Alex Ola will miss some time with a stress fracture in the left foot, and it would hurt Northwestern early on Sunday against Loyola of Maryland. Andre Walker had eight points in the first half. Loyola up by 14 at the break. Joey Van Zegren, Ola's replacement, with a nice throwdown. Northwestern trying to get something going offensively, but Loyola in transition just 12 seconds later. It's 27-13 at that point, 33-22 Loyola at the break. Second half, this is what Van Zegren can give you, the offensive board and put back. Northwestern starting to cut into that lead, and then it's Aaron Falzone. Nice look from Brian McIntosh, and Aaron Falzone can shoot the three. Northwestern within five, and then Trey Demps finding Sanjay Lumpkin down low, and one, seven nothing Northwestern run. Cats within three. McIntosh to foul zone worked pretty well earlier in the second half, and it works well again here. Northwestern comes back to tie it at 42. First tie since we were scoreless. And then, John Christman, we welcome you into the show with some Bryant McIntosh deliciousness. Yeah, Brian McIntosh is spectacular. 33 points on the night. He can score in a bunch of ways, but he's done a great job of getting others involved. Like you said, foul zone from three. Really, Bryant McIntosh was the key to his victory. McIntosh would go on to finish with a career-high 33 as Northwestern, which scored just 22 in the first half, scores 52 in the second half. Kind of basketball. A points per Love possession that. ratio in the second half, John, of nearly 1.75 per possession. Love in other that. words, otherworldly. 12 and 1 now for the first time since 1930-31, tying the best start in school history. 13th straight home wins. That dates back to the end of last year and 12 regular season non-conference wins already tying the most in school history. With that in mind, the star of this game, Brian McIntosh, chatting afterwards with Stephen Bardo. Thanks a lot, guys. Please be joined by Brian McIntosh. You guys look like you were running in mud a little bit in the first half. What happened between the first half and the second half? You know, Coach got on us a little bit in the locker room like you'd expect. And uh, to our guys' credit, we responded. You look like the game has slowed down for you here in your second year. Is that accurate to say it? And if that's the case, what's been the biggest difference? Uh, yeah, I, I definitely feel the game slowed down. Uh, and I just think it's my off-season work. I, you know, uh, uh, to our coaches' credit, they did a great job with me and uh, my skill development. And, uh, everything's really slowed down. You know, the, your teammates were struggling. You weren't on the offensive end, and then you really kicked up in the second half. What did you see that you were able to take advantage of? Uh, you know, I, I thought they struggled a little bit in ball screen defense, and, uh, you know, Coach Collins saw that, and he just kept calling my number, and uh, our guys, were having, they had their feet set, so when I kicked it to them, they knocked it down. So it just opened up uh, room for me to create around the rim. Well, I know it's past Christmas, but career high on the night. Yeah. Congratulations, Brian. Thank you. Thank you. All right.